Today here on Blue Shift Ministries, we're going to talk about tithing. I want to go deeper, deeper into tithing. I've done a tithing video. I just want to go deeper into it. And I want to talk about the reasons why we tithe and who should we tithe. Tithing. Tithing is not about giving to a church or to any ministry. Tithing is about recognizing the one who needs the tithe. If you see that child eating out of the garbage and you know they don't have a meal and you purchase that child a meal, that's tithing. Tithing. Tithing is giving your time to perhaps a co-worker at work that really doesn't know what to do. And you're busy yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. But in your heart, you know that individual at your place of work needed either a pep talk or some guidance. And you gave that guidance and you help them with that pep talk. That's tithing. What is tithing? When you see a brother or sister on the subway, <clears throat> excuse me, and they perform for you, street performer, whether they toss a backflip, they toss their hat, they sang, and it wasn't about if they were good at it or not. But you toss them some change anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. They earn that change. That's tithing. Tithing. When you see that cat or dog on the street. That puppy. And his mother just got hit by a car. And the puppy's looking around, thinking what happened. It doesn't even realize where its mother went. and doesn't realize that its mother's dead. And you took the puppy in. You bathed it. You gave it a meal. And you gave it a home. Or you found it a home. That's tithing. Tithing is not only to people. It's to pets and animals too. Tithing. When you see your next door neighbor, a little boy trying to put a wheel on his bike and his father wasn't around to help him because either the father just took off and didn't care or he sacrificed his life to defend this country. And you went next door and helped the boy put the wheel on his bike. That's tithing. Tithing. When you go to your local park and there's a pond and the pond is so filthy that not even the animals want to swim in it. And you help clean up that pond and the animals return. That's tithing. Father is pleased with those who help the animal kingdom. So what is tithing about? Power. It's pretty much giving a slap in the face to the enemy saying, no matter how much you hurt me or beat me down, no matter if being, even if I don't have much to give, I still recognize that somebody needed me and I did what I could to help. I know it wasn't much, Maybe the person didn't earn it, but that's not my place to say. But I will still tithe. And no, you're not a bad person if you don't tithe. It's not a sin not to tithe, but it's good to tithe. Because Jehovah Jireh is not only the true creator, he's also a good God. If you choose not to tithe, that does not make you less. 
It's just something for you to think about when you can. Because tithing comes from the heart. It doesn't come from the mind. It comes from Father's inspiration. When you see someone who needs a tithe, follow Father's flow and tithe. Don't deny yourself Father's divinity. Don't deny yourself Father's destiny. Sometimes tithing can be as easy or as simple as, hey, I'm going to head to the coffee shop. Would you like a cup of coffee? That's tithing. Tithing is never random, even if it looks that way. Tithing is not about being a narcissist trying to prove that you're an awesome person. That's ridiculous. No. Tithing is sending a message to the devil and is slapping him in his face and saying, I know you're watching, but you know what? Father is watching too. So you can watch me all you want, Satan. Because no matter how tough it gets, I will still tithe. No matter how much you accuse me, your false accusations, I will still believe in Father in heaven. And no matter how bitter and jealous you are, Lucifer, I will still always try to be generous. And I will always worship the divinity. That is why we tithe. To always give a slap in Lucifer's face. To give a slap in the principality's face. And that's something we should all do and love to do. Because if anyone has earned a slap, it sure is hell the devil. We must fast, repent, and bloodline cleanse. Believe in Jesus always. Amen.